Okay, you're given the function whoop, uh, negative one half x squared plus two x plus six equals f of x, which is a per op downward opening parabola. It's got a vertex at two eight, and you're supposed to use the difference quotient with h equals these values to estimate the slope of this tangent line at the point four comma six. Now this thing right here is a difference quotient. And we're, on the next board, we're gonna see what that means. But here's f of x. And we can confirm that f of four does indeed equal six by putting four in for x, because we get negative one half of four squared, which is negative eight, plus eight is zero plus six, so f of four does equal six, so four six is on the parabola. And here's the steps you'd have to go through to calculate a difference quotient, which we're, we're gonna see what that is in a, a minute. Uh, so this is the h, 0.1. So we're really calculating f of 4.1, subtracting f of four, and putting that over 0.1. That, what that really is, is there's this other point on the curve that's 0.1 units to the right of four, and we're calculating the rise over the run. This numerator is the rise. It's f of four, which is six, uh, f of 4.1 rather, which is some number down here, and we're subtracting six from that to get the change in y, delta y. And the change in x is 0 0.1, so that's what we're dividing by here. So this is the calculation you'd have to do. Well, I'm not, that's pretty tedious. But here's the same idea for h of 0 0.01. So let's see what that looks like. Here's how you could do it on Desmos. Here's h. Notice that when h is zero, the difference quotient is undefined because we would be dividing by zero. But when h is 0.1, f of 4.1 is 5.795. f of x sub one is six, always. If we subtract this minus this, we get change in y. And if we divide that change in y by h, we get negative 2.05. And if we do that all the way through, it looks like these values here are getting closer and closer to negative two. So uh, there's actually the graph with the tangent line. So I'm gonna share my screen, go to Desmos, so you can see what's happening. So there's the graph of f of x, that downward opening parabola. And I've picked another point on the curve. Right now, h is 5.56 minus 4, or 1.56. And uh, if I have to calculate the slope of the line between four comma six and this point, that's actually the slope of this red dashed line, which is called a secant line. And as I move this point closer and closer to four, notice how that red line is getting closer and closer to the green dashed line. And that's what you're calculating with that this little table over here. And by the time H gets to 4.08, where you can hardly distinguish the secant line, the red line, from the, the green line. And by the time you get h is zero, that will actually be the uh, tangent line, the equation of the tangent line. I can't seem to get it. There we go. Okay, so when you calculated difference quotient, you're calculating slopes of secant lines, the red dashed line. And then you're using the, the slope of the secant line to write the equation of the secant line. 
And you're going to learn later in calculus that you can take the limit of the difference quotient to actually get the slope of the tangent line. And that's the only way to find the slope of the tangent line is to use calculus. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. And if you have any questions, post a comment.